All right, so uh, this is going to be Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and as well a Cancer Rising. <clears throat> Weekly general tarot reading, March uh, 9th to March 15th, 2020. And in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below, and there you're going to find a, a link to my website. Uh, from which uh, you can purchase such so the first one for cancer here which marks the topic of your week guys is going to be the four of swords moving next we do have the emperor which is the uh, energy is feeding and supporting the topic next one stands for the challenges that you will have to overcome throughout the week that is to be the nine of swords <clears throat> Fourth one represents the gifts and the blessings that uh, you get to enjoy throughout the week here. For that position, it is the Queen of Pentacles. Moving next, uh, we do have uh, what kind of impression you're going to leave into the people around. And that will be the Nine of Wands, uh, the Seven of Wands, excuse me. And the last one, which is the guidance that uh, Tsaru is offering here, we have the King of Pentacles. Okay. Mm. So obviously, from the first couple of cards here, um, the week is cool. It will be um, evaluated in a serious level. What I mean is that there are to be quite important things that you will have to uh, manage, that you will have to tackle with. That is shown by the uh, energies of the emperor. Though th those energies are uh, putting their exertion into the things around which are to require a lot of dedication it will require as well a lot of a structure that you need to kind of incorporate into your things and additionally to that uh, you have to be reliable to those things alone meaning that if uh, the relationship it is the thing that you have to pay attention into then you have to show yourself uh, reliable to that relationship uh, if that's about your career then the career will expect from you to be reliable and in generally the week itself, it does point to uh, situating yourself over one single thing and making it right, okay? Or kind of like exerting a control over it so you can uh, diminish the possibilities of ups and downs and therefore making it much more uh, bearable, much more acceptable and much more foreseeable for the future that is and uh, being able to push it through to its uh, to its very end so uh what i'm trying to say here from those energies it is that your dedication will grow increasingly throughout uh, this week and it's not even dedication it's more like a uh, a sense of seriousness will go increasingly toward either your uh, career or relationship throughout the week and you alone will start how can I place it? Um, be more dedicated to uh, to uh, to the usual and uh, environmental stuff, like to the daily routine itself. Knowing that through it is exactly uh, where the the key for controlling all that it is uh, it is lying. So. <clears throat> You can expect that throughout the week your uh, worries, and in a good way I mean, your worries will go increasingly high for uh, the, the performance of the project at your career and for the performance as well of, uh, of yourself into relationship. Which leads us to the next card here, Cancer, that stands for the topic of the week and that is the Four of Swords. So Four of Swords, it kind of points that based on your more serious approach, towards your environment in general. Um, many concerns of yours that you have found quite overwhelming up until this point are going to stop existing and for, for the time being though. So because you were able to exert structure and control, you are not gonna have that usual, let's say sense of insecurity up until this point which will give you the uh, option for you to rearrange your strategies. This is all that comes to buy, to rearrange your strategy and to adopt the best possible one for moving forward into the future. Additionally to that, uh, those cards are strongly suggesting if you are facing something that is out of your competency to seek for a, a professional help. It is uh, such will be found and that help will truly gonna help you to push 
your things through or it's going to allow you to push your things through and uh, finally for those two cards uh, you are to become aware it's literally what they say you are to become a, a aware of what you feel and you are to become aware as well of where you are going to uh, moving forward with either your career or with either your relationship and as well you are going to become aware is it really worth it but the big um, how can I say it? the big out outcome that you can hope for here is by walking out of this week at the end of uh, 15th of uh, March <laughs> you are to finally have the uh, I cannot say really the recipe of success but finally finally have to have an, an idea how you should tackle with this you know issue into your relationship or how you should become uh, successful into your career as well so it's all about finding the right measures the right approach by attending with a full seriousness toward the current um, uh, the current situations and the current enterprises that you are facing uh, facing in front of yourself into uh, into your daily routine next one uh, that we do have here it will be the challenges that you will have to face that will be the nine of swords so uh, that card here points that a lot is to be expected from you really and uh, the card itself implies that your actions are going to be uh, oriented toward the maxima or or nothing meaning that one or the other way there are to be severe consequences after you do something are those consequences are going to be bad or are they going to be good consequences well that depends entirely on your performance and uh, in this particular case it is suffice to say that before you do something here before you decide to do something you have to kind of like analyze it at least a couple of times so you know that that is the right thing to do that is engraved into the four of uh, swords combined with the energies of the emperor so in other words you need to have a contingency plan for everything in case something goes wrong but what is the true challenge here it is the petrification of a fear not uh, to do the wrong the wrong thing therefore being more prone to do nothing instead of actually exerting control uh, over your career or over your relationship and above everything else taking a responsibility okay so uh long story short here with the nine of swords uh it will be challenging for you to face the fear of uh, failure it's as simple as that because um, something needs to move uh, throughout this week I mean you have to force something to move by uh, exerting once again a control and being afraid of the end result that or it that thing can go wrong um, it's going to deprive you of uh, of moving this circumstance and by not moving the circumstance, no progress whatsoever can be made in uh, in either direction, at least according to uh, at least according to those cards. So um, just ad adopt this uh, standpoint that sooner or later you gotta do it. So better do it right now in this week when the energies are favorable, rather than to wait for a week where uh, literally the the knife is going to touch the bone and you will have no other choice but to do it. Yeah, and maybe under not such a favorable uh, circumstances and energies as well. Moving next here, it is uh, the uh, gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy. That is a, a person and it's a real blessing to have that person around because the Queen of Pentacles will only going to encourage you. It will try to make you aware how big potential you do have because the Queen of Pentacles always searches for the there to for here to for excuse me unfound capabilities unfound potential unfound options available so this person thinks that you are underestimating yourself it is just seeing you she is she i'm saying because it's a queen but it could be as well a man so that person kind of having an impression and an assessment that you are underestimating yourself and instead of pushing you ruthlessly moving forward that person is going to try to touch your soul if you will with a, a cotton and uh, help you peacefully uh, and in a very calm fashion 
to uh, try to discover the true and full potential of yourself that you can actually do it at the end of the day. Many other people did it, okay? Many other people solved problems into their relationship one way or another. Many other people solved problems into their career one way or another. And you have to do it despite that the consequences may be not as favorable as you want them to be, but ultimately at the end of the day, you have to face that fear and you pretty much need to do something no different than if i have to give an example being in a abusive relationship being afraid of the consequences what happened after you leave it right so sooner or later you have to leave it one way or another let's not think about the worst that can happen there but uh, the, the, as a gift and blessing here you are to have someone to encourage you to do it because what they are going to press on as an issue it is that you are strong enough to do it so uh, next one, what we do have, it is uh, the uh, how people are going to look at you, what kind of impression you're going to leave into the people around. That is to be the impression of the Seven of Wands. And that is uh, an impression of a quite of a, uh, how can I point it? Uh, point it, not exactly stressed out person, but more like a person with their back against the wall. I mean, look at this one, guys. I mean, it, it, it does look like that he stands again against everything. That the, the people were going to see that everything works against you, okay? And despite that, it doesn't look like that they're going to do much about it apart from the Queen of Pentacles here, which appears to be a blessing. And this is exactly the reason why you have to take the matters in your own hands, why you have to exert control there. But the Seven of Wands is a very potent card in these cases because it does point that one works very well when it's under pressure. One kind of like it's uh, it's capable to seize the right moment and to uh, identify the right actions that needs to be incorporated into this particular moment. So um, another way how people are going to look at you, but in a very, um, how can I place it, restricted uh, time frame, it is they are going to see you surprising, uh, that you are capable to surprise them with an actions that they have not anticipated that you are even capable of doing in one or another way. But so uh, someone uh, identifies their true potential only if they kind of find themselves with their back against the wall, right? So um, I do believe with this reading here, it is that throughout this week, you are really going to find out what you truly are capable of to fight for your well-being and to fight for sustaining yourself in a relatively a good fortune moving forward into the future. Mainly, like I said once again, exerting control over your life, over your uh, career path and over your uh, romantic situation or a relationship status that you do have and the final card as a guidance here it is the king of pentacles so uh king of pentacles tells us a couple of things and that is uh, actually it appears with an interpret interpretation that i seldom use because um it's it's very uh situational for the narrative but here the king of pentacles uh, it kind of urges you if you can to bring vital um not communications but a um not relationship oh my god the word just jumped out of my mind connections vital connections into the matter so um you have troubles with your boss into your career but you know person who can actually press your boss not to bother you while you use that connection okay same thing goes for a relationship. So you have to use the connections you have in order to improve your circumstances. Another thing about the card here, it is the generosity, uh, not generosity, excuse me, charity is something that you should not show as a, a virtue throughout the week, but rather generosity, which are two different things. Meaning that charity is giving things or giving from yourself with, without having anything in return. Here, you give only when you when there is something in it for you as well. This is what the emperor does. This is what means to exert control over your life and over your situation. So if um, you want to, for example, be with someone, you are with this person only if there is something for you in it as well, or only if that person loves you just as much as you love them as well. Uh, that, is, uh, that is just an example, guys. And the last thing that the uh, King of Pentacles here is uh, giving you as a guidance it is that um, 
your situations can be saved. Uh, I just it all it all comes to that that they need to be touched with the uh, uh, with the silk gloves rather than um, exerted with a lot of force and a lot of strength in there. And uh, before you kind of start hoping for a new things to happen around. Uh, before that to happen, you first have to try to salvage as much as you can from your current situations. As with the King of Pentacles here on a, uh, on a guidance, you can definitely stabilize every single one that you are feeling that it is slipping through your fingers. So that being said, Cancer, this was your weekly general tarot reading, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, once again, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, Checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which uh, you can decide which kind of a uh, variation of reading you want. And upon purchase, I'm going to contact you through an email uh, giving you a, a details how the reading is going to take place. Hopefully we're going to see each other around. And until then, bye.